In this video tutorial, I am going to show you another candy apple hustle with big profits. But first, let me introduce myself. Your feelings are getting your bag. You could dream all you want, but you can't be tagged. They be making fake pages just to be all mad. I get paid to go out, you going outside. It's a vibe when I pop out. City wants to do what I say and I say what I do. You know rule number one, never be number two. About good right there. So when you're using white, you want to add your white last. Okay, so we're going to tilt the pot. I'm going to dip my apple. And then I'm going to scrape my apple on the side of the pot. I'm going to dip my apple and then scrape. Okay, so what I am doing right now is draping over the fondant, over the candy apple, and then I am going to right here cut the extra fondant. Now I need to smooth out the fondant to fit the apple. So I am just going to use a knife to cut my strips. I don't know where my X-Acto knife is. My fondant cutter, uh, I just really don't like using that. So I'm gonna just cut my strips and attach the strips on the apple. You know how a hat has a strip in the front, the back and the two sides. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. If you need to dab some water on the back of your strips, go ahead. But right now, my fondant is so sticky, it will just stick onto itself. Now, I am just taking my fondant wheel to make the seams in the hat on the sides of the strips. And then you will see me take the same fondant wheel and go down the middle of the strip. So now you're going to take um, a strap of fondant and just wrap it around the top part. You can pull any extra fondant off. Okay. You want to take your fondant wheel to kind of make a seam going around. So I am going to use this first red line right here to guide me. As far as making my lid. You can like freehand this if you want. So you bring your um, apple up to it. I'm just going to freehand this. Let's see. So I'm just going lightly. I don't know where my exacto knife is. Now it just disappeared all of a sudden. This crazy. So I'm going to try to use a knife and be creative. So right now I'm using the fondant tool to come around that corner. 
I can probably use a knife right there. straight So I'm using the fondant tool to rub and smooth out the edges. I, this is not attached yet. I'm going to show you how to attach the lid. I am going to lift this up. Okay, I'm going to leave this on the silicone mold. I'm going to smooth this out. You really don't have to smooth it out. So what you want to do is cut some slashes, like just cut some slashes, go down, and then you're going to come across Just using, you know, make lines, kind of indent, make some lines. You're going to do the same thing on the apple. Just make some slashes here because you want this to kind of attach. Well, you do want it to attach. So you're just going to make some crisscross lines. Okay. You're going to have to come all the way up where the lid is going to be. Just make you some lines or some dents. Wet where your lid will be. And you want to use your treat brush and wet the lid. So you take your brush and you wet that. Now you're going to bring your apple over. And now you want to attach this on your apple. Be careful. Be careful with putting dents and stuff on your lid. So you want to bring the apple up. You want to press it. You want to get that lid all the way up where you make those marks at. Okay. So you need something to secure this lid of the Talos Palette lid to secure that lid. You want to just let that dry. Be careful, just smooth out any dents with your hand. Make sure your hand is good and dry. See, this is why you need to charge accordingly. We'll put in some work. I am going to make about 
three lines here. Like my little seam lines. I'm gonna try to get this as perfect as you can. Two should do it. And once we get the Nike symbol, it's going to look cute. Okay, so since this will be like a girly hat, I thought about using some hearts. Hmm. And I'm going to show you what I'm using. Little treat toppers. Now you can freehand a Nike symbol or you can use an edible image. Um, my edible image wasn't the same color pink, so I just went on ahead and freehanded something up. Okay, kind of be careful with that. So this is fondant. I'm just going to wet the back of it. I'm just going to damp the back of it. And then I am going to place this little Nike symbol probably about right probably about right there. Okay, I want to round that out. There we go. There we go. So here's the Nike hat. I'm gonna, you wanna sit this on here until this lid gets hard. And you can use this fondant tool to prick holes in the hat. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep updated with me and all of my videos on the weekends.